everyone, Denise Robinson from By The Bay Kinesiology. Today I wanted to talk to you about my Mastery of the Five Elements Core Essence and Character course. This course is a favourite of mine and we delve into the five elements. So we're looking at fire, earth, metal, water and wood. Within this course we go into what the elements mean in the universe, what they mean in nature and what they mean emotionally and in the physical body. So with the physical body, we look at the physical symptoms that someone might be experiencing and therefore what element would be out of balance with those symptoms. We also look at the emotional connection and we delve into all the emotions um, relating to each of the fire, earth, metal, water and wood and what emotions you might experience if that element is balanced or unbalanced. We also tap into the emotion chart um, and we use this as a reference tool. Um, this is a chart I created a couple of years ago um, and to how to test all the different emotions that are going on in the body. We also look at the um, emotional and um, spiritual indications of imbalance and balance, and we look at remedies, which we'll go through in a moment, of how to correct that balance. On day two, we go into constitutional profiling. This is always quite a hilarious day where students come in expecting they're going to be a particular element, and often by the time they leave, they are actually a different element, normally the one they most don't want to be. Um, and it's really insightful. It tells you so much about yourself and it gets a real acceptance and understanding of where you're at within the elements. Um, and so we delve into what you are and how to work out what you are. There's a profiling template and then you'll have homework to go home and actually go and look at other people around you, friends and family, and discover what they are. And then what that means in relationships, like in your relationships, um, and in, your, in relationships to other people and how that fits. So when we look at remedies in this course, there's a heap of remedies in this course. So we go into crystals and what they mean and how to use them with balancing the elements. So that's um, always fun. That's in all of my courses. We look at acupressure points um, and using acupressure points to balance the five elements because they all interact together. And so we're using those as a tool. We use my testing vials to test if something's out. So we've got fire, earth, metal, water, wood testing vials that we use to determine if there is an imbalance in the body um, and then to balance them back to that element. And then we also use my balancing sprays and oils. Um, I created these a couple of years ago um, and these are very popular in balancing the element in the body. So the roll-ons are for balancing and, and connecting and going straight into the blood and um, the sprays are for balancing the energy around the body. So there's all of those we tap into. We look at essential oils what they represent and how to use them to balance elements in the body. We look at flower essences, um, tuning into those. We use sky flowers in this course. Um, we also tap into colour therapy. With colour therapy, we use the glasses, um, and which is about looking at things differently. We also use the light torch, which is here, and we use that on acupressure points as well. That's always fun. We go into singing bowl which is sound therapy, and we look at the meridian tuning forks using the ones for the meridians that tap into that element. Um, and then we also look into, obviously, oracle cards and affirmations and activities, but also we look at a couple of nature's healing chi remedies, which in this course is mud and wood. So they're all the different remedies that we are covering in this course. It's a two-day course, and yeah, I'm really excited to be getting back into the elements and to be delving in and showing the students how to balance these in the body. It's a fascinating and um, wonderful experience, and I can't wait to share it. So stay tuned, and I'll be posting more about the elements over the coming weeks. Have a great day.